everybody. Glad you've made the decision to be with us. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We're glad to be bringing you action and welcoming you to the famed board. Everybody's been waiting for these two to meet up. Now they do as round one is underway. Tyson's opponent here is not known for being a guy that can really go deep into fights. Doesn't have a lot of stamina. Well, Mike may make that very easy and good marriage for him. Yeah, that works perfect for Tyson because that probably means that his opponent is going to come out fast. He's going to be desperate early. He knows he can't go late. And Tyson loves to get a guy early. The kid's right hand scores well that time. You Just see like the that. accuracy like now that. with that double jab up top. That's a big uppercut that just crashed home. Bang the body. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. The kid's just being swarmed. He just got stunned. He got absolutely nailed. Good defense just covering up down. Big, big shot he just scored with. He is not meant for life on the outside there, and he just paid the price. He goes down. Because he didn't make his mind up. If you're not going to work out in front, get to a distance where you're safe. He stood there at a bad distance. No man's land. Nice block by Mike Tyson. <laughs> Solid left hand to the head. Was it that obvious right from the start that this physical specimen that you were seeing as a 12, 13, 14 year old was gonna end up being the pro fighter we're seeing in the ring now? Well, Costamato, the first day we had in the gym, said to me, you're gonna have a chance maybe to train your first heavyweight champ if this guy stays interested, if he gives us a chance to develop him. Will you look at this? Look at this pace that these two are fighting at so early in the fight, Teddy. Each man must have been determined to think they can get the other one out of here early. Yeah, I want to see who blinks first, though. That's what's interesting to me. Who changes? They can't both keep this up. Targeting each other, the exchange was something special. And that's the end of round one. Mike Tyson's coming off a round where he scored big. He scored the knockdown. I suppose right now he's got to think to himself, Teddy, how did I do that, and how can I do that again? He should think that to himself. That's what his corner's there for, to remind him. You know how you did it? Do it again. Zoning in on that gut. Combination punch downstairs. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. Right to the belt line. The kid's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Tyson's making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. The kids is coming out here after being knocked down in the last round. Teddy, what are some of the things you look for that will tell you he's on steady ground, that he looks fine? Well, the first thing I look for is the base, the foundation. I mean, you look at a house, you want to see it, and you want to make sure that that basement is solid, there's cinder blocks there. You know, you don't want to see that upper floor weight. Oh, he just ate a big uppercut right there. He had no idea it was coming his way. Big, big shot comes crashing home. Once again, he goes down. 
Can he survive Two, this? Three, four, Get up, five. Get it. Down he goes, but he's going to continue on, beating the count. The kid's combination punching is working well here. Mike Tyson's showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. The kid's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. A precise hook by Tyson, he showed us. Good step back counter punch there. The kid's giving us something to think about early on in this fight here, but his opponent has even more to think about. He has established the jab already. Yes, he has established the jab, and now his opponent has to think about moving his head so he can get past it. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. Targeting that head with the combination punching. The kid swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. Round right, comes to an end. Right. Knockdown was scored in that round. So, Teddy, you're working the corner of the guy who was just on the floor. What are you telling him? You're telling him that if he's been down before, you want to actually use that for a positive. I know that sounds crazy, but you say, hey, you've been here before. You've overcome it. You want to remind him that he can get back. And then the most important thing, Joe, is you tell him why he got dropped. So when he goes out there, he's not just scared going into a dark place saying, gee, it's going to happen again. He knows he has control. The kid's showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. <laughs> Committing to the body work now. He lands the right hand. Volume punching to the body there. Little head knocking with that right hand. The kid's missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. <laughs> Left hook to the body. Right hand. Nicely done. The kid's jab can do so much there. He used it well that time. See, that's some fine defense right there. I love that block by Mike Tyson. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. The kid's doing well here with that two-punch combination. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. The kid's just not showing me enough offense right now. Is he, I mean, I understand he did get hurt earlier. Yeah, he did. But he still has to put something for it. Yeah, he does. He's kind of like that kid who gets his hand caught in a cookie jar. You know, <laughs> you're not going to give up eating cookies. You still have a sweet tooth. You want to still go back and get that snack. You better find another way. He needs to find another way. Comes right back with some offense of his own. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Committing to the head work, you see him go there again. Oh, he just misses with that head shot. Ten clicks of the talk.
Oh, the kid's work in training camp is now paying off. Do you see the accuracy and the effectiveness with that combination? Get close to this guy. Mike Tyson's enjoying a lead on Teddy's scorecard the first time we look at the scores ringside here tonight. Although, early on here, it's not as if either man is in complete control of this fight. More than one punch downstairs. That could be damaging. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. The kid's not skipping a beat. He came out just the way he finished up last round. Yeah, what I like is that he's a thinking man's fighter, and his corner gave him probably good advice. They know that the opponent only had 60 seconds to recover, and they're figuring it wasn't enough time. A nice block by Mike Tyson. Doubles up the jab. Double up on your punches. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. There's another right hand. Halfway through this round. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. He gets off with a combination up top. Blocks that punch. The kid's left, working well that time. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. Throws a counter punch there. Keep doing what you're doing. Here's a moment here as you see the step back counter punch where you realize this is the sweet science, not just some raw savagery swinging out there. Look at the little subtleties here, Joe. What he does is he forces them into a position to stop the punch. And then when he stops, steps back, makes a miss, and comes right back. There's the combo to the body. The kid's well off the mark that time. Good one double two, jab one by two. Mike Tyson. Listen, that was a jab. That's right. Pick his jab. When he throws the jab. Okay. Doing well. Let's get him some water. Let's get him some water. Take a deep breath. Relax. Back to action here at the start of this round, which is just part of what has been a very evenly fought fight. One of those fights that's going to be very hard to score. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the yeah. sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy Tyson's hurt from that. What a big shot up off the deck and now in control. He scores a knockdown of his own. And he turns it around because when his opponent scored the knockdown, he got a little careless, a little lazy. One, two, three, four, five. Mike Tyson rises up to beat the count, trying to continue on. But Teddy, I don't like the way he looks at all here. No, and the thing with Mike Tyson is, yeah, he'll get up, he'll survive. But body. sometimes, the old times would say this, you don't hear it a lot, he could be a game quitter, where he won't go down, but he'll take punishment, and he'll wait for the referee to stop it. I wonder if that's going on right now. Well, we've seen Mike Tyson in a spot like this before. Remember, he once rose up off the canvas against Buster Douglas, only to be floored again. Can he do it here? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's it. It's 
fight's over, fight is over. Tyson's a knockout victim. He couldn't beat the count. Ladies and gentlemen, by, by knockouts, knockout, your winner, Rocky Kids' power that we saw throughout the night, building a lead on your scorecard, now ends the night. Good job, son. Good job.